Okay, what do I got in front of me? Oh, I got the windshield for my RMAX. This is the Super ATV one. It's the plastic one. It's a, it's a nice wind. I love the vents and everything. It's a, it's a good windshield. But there's one thing it could really use. Up here in the ridge, you're going to see the doubler. And I'll get to that in a second. But what happens is, you see the contour? Whoops, I hit the camera. You see the contour of this? So it bows out a little bit. Well, the problem is, this part of the plexiglass has a lot of give in it. So what happens is, is the wind hits it and will push it and it'll cause it to bow like this. So then instead of thinking you got a good seal up here, that part right there will literally come up under the lip. And what I'm talking about is this lip right here. Okay, this is the hang down piece from the top of your hood. And what happens is that piece right there, about this section from here to about there on the other side will literally bow outwards. If you're riding with somebody, it's going to scare the hell out of them and then they'll be all nervous and thinking the window's coming in. It's not going to, but what happens also is the window starts vibrating a lot, depending on how fast you are and what the terrain is. So I decided, hey, you know what? I need something to give it just a little bit of stiffness, something that will help it and make it stay in place. So what I did is I came up with this. I took a half inch piece of aluminum. I got it at Home Depot, four foot across cut it shaped it up a little bit up here in the window and same thing over there i had some leftover body fasteners uh body pop rivets from my commander so i used those to pull through i used the flex seal spray paint stuff on here so that it wasn't hard contact it had a nice cushion between the aluminum and the plexi because if you put straight plexi and aluminum or steel or whatever after a while what's going to happen is they're going to start working and you could have stress cracks hazing all kinds of bad things happen so i went ahead and put that across there drilled 3 16 holes up here used a brand new drill bit because you don't want to ever use an old drill bit there's something you've been cutting steel wood whatever because you're going to have little fine burrs in there and what happens is, is over time the plexiglass will get little cracks in there this will help minimize on the drilling part and go slow do not go meow, meow, meow. just kind of let it pull itself in there okay so on the back side <clears throat> you'll see that i put a washer as the fastener comes through it comes in and it'll grab that washer and pull on the washer itself will not pull on the window itself so what that <clears throat> dang so what that does is that puts less stress in a small fine finer spot and kind of evens it out a little bit better so that the chances of cracking and splitting are very minimal now i know somebody's going to be has already looked at the windshield and went why did you put a windshield or a windshield wiper well let me tell you my my machine is street legal the reason why i did it is so just in case while i'm out there riding through town i need you know a quick wipe of my window i can use it that's all it's for it's not for when i'm out riding if i'm out riding i'll get out of my machine if i get sprayed with dirt and stuff or dust or whatever and i'll grab my little spray bottle come in here and spray it off and then squeegee it with the squeegee that's made for it okay so before anybody goes nuts going you're gonna destroy your window and scratch it up you know keyboard warriors of the world unite so the thing is is that's all that is is for while i'm out riding and it just happens to rain while i'm in town or something or wherever i'm at i just have a quick windshield wiper while i'm riding that's it so breathe in breathe out go poop if you have to now on the other part of this these are really nice i love these these go great they flow through pretty good um all in all, the windshield is very good. The only thing I can recommend is make sure that you got some really good sharp shears when you're cutting this because of the steel that's in here is a pain in the butt. And if you use regular sheet metal shears, instead of it cutting like this, it'll cut almost offset it. It'll literally push it and cause it to roll, which then will tear and yada yada. We all been there. The clamps are okay. They're a pain in the butt. And the reason why I'm saying that is you have to fish this up in there what i use is a little hook 
but you have to fish it through and pull it through there and then you got to be mindful not to go all the way th through this to get to this and then you'll scratch this that's the major thing you got to watch for so anyways this is just an idea for the super atv front window also i've seen the same window sold on amazon same one sold on a couple other atv sites so if you have something similar to this you and you might have this problem where it pops in hey go ahead make you a little doubler i'll have pictures at the bottom and trust me it'll make a load of difference for your writing all right this strap i'll talk to you later if you got any questions or anything feel free to ask the more we talk, the better we learn. Have a great day. Bye.